Formula One is a sport that uh, is difficult to touch. If you are a Real Madrid fan, you can buy the t-shirt and you can buy the ball and nearly you can feel for one second a player. In F1 it's a different sport. To give uh, something back to the, to the fans, I think it was the best thing. So this is where it all started? Yeah, this is uh, really the first uh, go-kart that I jumped in and uh, it was made for my sister. But uh, yeah, she didn't like, so my father put some extensions there in the pedals. In the engine, he put the throttle a little bit on, okay. so my throttle didn't work. Okay. It was just at the same uh, <laughs> speed all the time. And the speed was walking speed. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? It's like you could see into the future. Yeah, well, <laughs> he was go-kart driver and uh, I think he, he enjoyed doing this. Yeah. You know, it's everything handmade and uh, he enjoyed this. It's a good moment now for, for him to see this, these two cars here together, to see the museum and everything started by, by his passion. This is my first license. <laughs> How uh, old were you then? Three. Which now Three. is completely illegal, <laughs> but uh, 25 years ago, oh my goodness. obviously the regulations were a little bit different. <laughs> I've never so, seen a driving license yeah. for a three-year-old. I was three years old and I had the driver's license and it's funny because at the back of the driver's license says that uh, the person of this license knows perfectly the rules and knows the implications to be a rich <laughs> driver, etc. So uh, that's for sure, I didn't know anything about that. It's an incredible collection of Formula One cars. Have you always put it in your contract to get an F1 car? Yes. Before 2005 not, but then uh, when this uh, car arrived uh, as a present from Flavio, uh, the 2005 World Champion Renault, from that year on I put always in my contract, yes. Fernando Alonso will cross the line to become the youngest ever Formula One World Champion. The best place of the museum, probably. Here we have the, the two world champions uh, with the trophy. 2005, fighting with the McLaren of Kimi. 2006, with the Ferrari of Michael. And, uh, but yeah, winning seven or eight races every yeah. year, it was, it was very dominant. It's difficult to compare uh, any other feeling to achieve a world championship, you know, being the best in the world that year because your job and because your team and because everything went well. We must mention this one. This yeah. was a... 2007. <laughs> probably the most beautiful car of the museum, or the people, the ones that they, they like most. Did you ever think you'd be coming back to McLaren? <laughs> probably not, not at that time. <laughs> this has got to be one of the biggest collection of Ferrari Formula <laughs> One cars outside of Maranello. Yeah, not uh, <laughs> the, the normal thing to see, but uh, yeah, there are people uh, now thinking that they were difficult five years and... Uh, we didn't uh, achieve uh, the championship, etc. But uh, I always show that, you know, there are uh, uh, 46 trophies in five years. Now that we have a go car circuit uh, together with the museum, you know, uh, came back to me the, the desire to be in the go car and uh, to run. And uh, I've been doing a lot of laps in the circuit because some feelings came back. To have this campus and uh, start uh, um, making the kids, uh, you know, happy about uh, motorsport, about uh, driving, teaching them not only competitive side of the sport. Go very close to the curb, the inside curb, and then letting the go car going on the exit smoothly. Go car or the sport in general is just a, a hobby. It's a fun thing to do. We cannot uh, never go in the go car thinking that it's a job or it's a it's sad time, you know. Every time we, we go in a go-kart is because we love going in a go-kart and we enjoy. You still seem as ambitious and as hungry as ever. You also seem really relaxed at the moment. How do you think that you've changed as a person? Well, I think you are uh, older, which means that uh, you know more things, you learn other things. You know, I think now I'm more prepared to life in general. I love F1, I love the project that I am in now and uh, for the next three years I want to win with McLaren every single Sunday. I started in a McLaren Honda replica with three years old in uh, if I can put a McLaren Honda, not replica, the real one, Formula One uh, world champion, that will be a perfect uh, finish for, for the museum.